He was a member of the world-famous Jackson 5. Tito Jackson died yesterday from an apparent heart attack. He was 70 years old. Tito Jackson often visited Baton Rouge to hang out with some of his friends here, including a family we all know as blues icons here. Gabby Davis picks up the story. Sylvia, friends and local blues icons, the Neal brothers, say that Baton Rouge was a safe haven for Jackson, and he even thought about buying property to settle in. He just thought Baton Rouge was just the coolest place. Kenny Ray Neal, a fellow musician, knew Tito Jackson for over 30 years. He says they first met while doing a show in Detroit and have been friends ever since even helping Jackson with his last album. He always come down here and visit, you know, to feel normal and be himself. Neil says that because Jackson grew up in the limelight, he didn't have a chance to be himself, and that he's happy that he was able to help him bring out his authentic self. His personality was just a down-home, humble, just real nice person that not starstruck or thinking he more than anybody else. I'm here at Tony's Seafood, Tito Jackson's favorite spot in Baton Rouge. But do you want to know what his favorite thing was? Alligator. Every time he would come back down here, he would buy a couple of alligators and take back with him. Low key, down to earth, real, real, real soft spoken. I remember when I was talking to him, just real, real quiet and uh, said he was just enjoying his time in Baton Rouge, had to load up some good food before he left. But alligator and music weren't his only love in life. Raffle Neal builds vintage cars and even built an engine for Jackson. I filmed the whole video at my house when he drove up and saw that big engine sitting in that car, all painted up and stuff. He just couldn't believe it. That's something that we just really have a love for, was Ola cars. So that was very special to him. The Neal brothers say they will honor his memory by looking back on the good times they shared with him. We used to go to breakfast. Every time he was here, uh, we'd go to breakfast together at IHOP. I'm just going to miss him sitting around, we laughing and talking and having a good time and cruising around Baton Rouge. As of now, there is no tribute plans for Jackson, but they do plan to make a live CD next month, a May dedicated to him. Sylvia. All right, Gabby Davis, thank you.